Uh, well, we're over at the uh, Atasola's residence, and uh, they, I think they had a area fence and gate that had been down for months, maybe even more than a year. Replace uh, two sections that have fallen down. The, the fence posts have rotted out. We're also going to fix the gate, replace hinges, and when we're done, probably replace some wood slats and shore everything up a little bit. We're trying to reach out to our community and let them know that church isn't here just to meet, but we're here to serve and to, and to show people love. To give back to our community, uh, you know, do something good for the church, kind of get our name out there. And so we as a small group decided to, instead of taking on a large uh, project that would take 30 people, we decided to, uh, as a group, we had at the most five guys that we were working, building, uh, repairing this fence. And so um, it was a nice tangible way for us to show the love of Christ uh, uh, to this family. It's an opportunity for us to come together. Um, just like uh, coming to church on Sunday mornings, is really just kind of an overflow of our worship through the week. That's kind of how I think of ShareFest. We should be reaching out and showing the community Jesus' love each and every day, each and every week. One thing that, that uh, we kind of picked up on this is that with community, meaning like just like the typical small group meetings, uh, you, we, we rarely get mission in that. And I feel like community is a byproduct of mission. If we're doing mission, we're gonna get community. As Christians, I think that uh, it's more, it's just as important to, uh, get out in the community and spread the word with uh, deeds and actions. ShareFest is it's just an opportunity for the church collectively to, to meet together and to show that overflow, to, to make a very public showing, you know, not for notoriety or anything else, just uh, to impact the community of Plano and the surrounding areas to, to experience Jesus' love.